Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Tracy. Today I'm gonna to be cleaning out my primer foundation drawer. Can you kinda of hang out with me while I clean it out? I'd like to know how you're doing. I'd like to know how your channel is doing. Are you happy with the way it's growing? I wanna know anything you wanna tell me in the comments. Let's hang out. I'll go really quickly, I won't carry on you know, about each product for too long, nothing new. Let's get started. This filthy thing is just the little thing I use to put my coffee on. This is a ponytail, or I've had it in here for so long. I don't think I want it in here. This is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. It's slightly tinted and it blurs out your pores. You can wear it instead of foundation. A lot of people don't like it. I love it. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Because of the triangular shape, I just stick it in the same corner all the time so I could find it easily. Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. I only use this one on my high point. Chanel Le Beige Eau de Taint. I talked about this one in my Chanel Favorites video. And this is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Illuminating Cream with SPF 50. And this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer, not the luminous one this time. And this Chanel Soleil Tendre Chanel, I talk about it in like every video. And this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I thought I got rid of that. This is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. I gotta use this up, it's already winter. Some Sephora sponges and Beauty Blender sponges. The Flower Beauty sponge I love. And the Juno sponge. I find they're good to apply makeup, but not so much for blending it. And the L'Oreal sponge from the drugstore, excellent. This is the Wander Beauty Powder Foundation. I don't think I ever talked about this one. It's really very, very good. Here's my, oh, filthy little sponge. You think maybe I should get it out of there and clean it? Good smooth coverage and not drying at all. And this is MAC Mineralized Skin Finishing Powder. Outstanding product. This is not my first one, and it probably won't be my last. I'm really fair, and I have mine in the shade Medium. And MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. Mine is in the shade NW22. I really wanted to get the Makeup Forever Powder Foundation, but that it, it's just too peachy for me, and it looked ridiculous. But this one, I can't say a bad thing about it. I really love it. It's not my first one. I was wearing it for years and years, and then I stopped, and now I'm back to it. Creamy, smooth, not drying at all. And next, Milk Makeup Blur Sticks. One's luminous and one's not. If you have large pores that you want to hide, these are so smoothing, blurring, easy to use. I love them. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. It's sort of like the Hollywood Flawless Filter, but it's more of a highlighter color. It's one of those products that you use the way you want, but it's really a nice product. Next is the IT Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor with 50 plus SPF. Light tint, light coverage, but if you're heading for the beach, maybe put some sunscreen. And this is Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Again, if you want to smooth out your skin and you have large pores, this is very, very good. I gotta use this more. This is an older model of the Clarisonic Face Brush. They don't sell this one anymore, but they sell an updated version. I just stopped using it because I was sick of having to buy new brushes all the time and I got a Foreo. This is a foundation brush. I never use it. I think I gotta use it. This is Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I know there's a new one. And the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's one of those products you use the way you want. Highlighter, under foundation, in your foundation. It's the best. Got this in BoxyCharm, Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead. I haven't used it. And this is Cover Effects Anti-Aging Primer. It's good. And another product from BoxyCharm that I haven't tried yet, No Pore Blend Prime Essence by Touch and Soul. I actually canceled my BoxyCharm, you guys. How did this get in here? Look at it, it's all separated. This is NARS Liquid Blush in the shape Orgasm. I never use it. I don't even like cool tones. Why did I buy this? And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Urethral Setting Powder. This loose powder has remained my favorite. I love that it's a bone color. It's great quality, relatively inexpensive. And this is the Laura Mercier Poofy Poof thing. I use it to wipe away glitter fallout and I find it works amazingly. I used to just have the little one, but it was always dirty, so I got another one. Next up is the ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundations. These are surprisingly good. I love that they're just slightly glowy and I have a darker one to contour with. 
light to medium coverage, I'd say closer to light. Next up is MAC Face and Body Foundation in the shade Medium Pearl. I use it as bronzer. I heard it's limited edition. No! Next up, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Very, very good. Not my first one. Won't be my last. Next up, it's the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. You can pour this into your foundation or just use it straight. Use it as a primer. Charlotte Tilbury Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. It was a free sample. Did I see this in the Charlotte Tilbury Advent Calendar? And this is the Milk Flex Foundation Stick. I grab this almost every day now. It's my current super favorite. I know I talked about it a million times. Mine's in the shade Light Beige. I just love it. What can I say? I'm sorry. Body Shop Poofy Thingy. This doesn't work on Glitter Fallout. I think it can go. Another Beauty Blender Sponge. And I love the little ones. I, got, I saw them half price at Macy's once and I just grabbed them. And these are little samples of the Milk Foundation. I have so many of them and I use them to travel. I think I'm going to get them out of here because I'm not going to be able to find them. I'll put them maybe in here. No room in here either. Okay, I don't know for now. I keep these little free sample guys to darken my foundation if I ever need to. You know what? Let's talk about this one for a second. I've never talked about it before. It's Morning of Magic. It's from Lush. It's vegan, it's organic, and it's all natural, and it's cruelty free. And if you want to have a no makeup makeup day, it this is a moisturizer, but it acts as a blur stick. And it's, it's amazing. I use it all the time, but the only bad thing about it is you can't really apply powder on top of it. It just doesn't work that well, but stick to cream products. It's really, it's good. It's all natural. You remember this, you guys? Operation Pour Proof Kit. It's a good kit. There's nothing wrong with it. I just have so many products that I haven't really used it that much, but I really want to use it. I think I'm going to put it in another drawer. Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation was my favorite. Mine's in Nude too. Now I love the Milk Flex Concealer better. Bare Minerals Powder Foundation and Hourglass Powder, both very good samples. And that'll be about it. It looks a little bit better. At least I can find stuff now. Well, I guess that'll be it for today. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below how you're doing, how you feel about your channel, anything you want to tell me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Phew! Thank you guys! Bye! <laughs> you're so stupid.